fun, entertaining, bright, exciting. That's my review. That's amazing. I. I mean, you're gonna tell people other than myself that, though, right? Yeah, absolutely. But I'm just telling you, as a director, great job, man. Oh, thank you um, so much. You're a fan, if I'm not mistaken, of the Pokemon and franchise and the games, and you, you're like a big, you're big time invested in this. I'm big time invested via my kids. So it's my, I have a 12 year old son, 10 year old daughter. So I've invested financially in, in, into Pokemon for years. Uh, but yeah, the games, the anime, movies, the television series, the toys, the cards, the whole, the whole thing. A lot of parents watching this right now going, yeah, that, I, know what that, I know what that costs. What inspired you to take this on? Well, I mean, my kids was the number one reason. And then uh, I got a call from the producers of Legendary and they, they, they told me that it was going to be um, uh, based on this Detective Pikachu game, which wasn't out yet. It was being developed in Japan at the time. And they told me about the main character, Detective Pikachu, and I fell in love with the, you know, there's a real emotional storyline to it that made a lot of sense for the movie, and, and so I was on board. All right, so the movie's done. It's now going out to the world. It's fantastic. What, looking back at this project, how, how big of a job was this? It seems like it was being massive. The fan base is incredible. I mean, this is a big deal. It's a big deal. I mean, you know, it's, it, I'm, I'm nervous. We want it to be right for the fans. The fans really care. And not just the not just the kids. I mean, there's fans who are in their 20s or 30s who grew up on it and really care about Pokemon and want us to get it right. Uh, and across the globe. I mean, there's fans everywhere. Um, so it was daunting. We worked really hard. It was very complicated. We shot in London uh, and Scotland under crazy weather conditions. Um, Justice did this amazing performance with no one there except a puppet sometimes or nothing. And, uh, we joke about there's this scene with Mr. Mime and show up on set and it was a stool and a lamp and he had to act with two characters. It was crazy. And then, and then uh, Ryan on the other side of that was also doing a performance uh, a lot of times without justice. So it's, it's incredible how uh, it all kind of came together. Thank <laughs> you.